Today, I'm going to show you how to create this Harry Potter Fantastic Beasts Always Christmas ornament to hang on your Christmas tree. Okay, so what you'll need for this is one piece of paper with some printed documentation on it. So um, I took segments of all of the different Harry Potter books and the Fantastic Beasts screenplay and I put them up on a sheet of paper and I printed them and I printed on this parchment looking paper so it'd look a little bit more like, um, you know, an older book. And then I printed the exact same thing on the back. So when I cut it and put it into the bulb, you're not going to see um, blank sides. It'll have something on both sides of the paper. One glass ornament. One tape gun with just some ordinary packing tape. Um, I printed the word always on just regular um, copy paper and I printed it um, with a uh, laser jet so it would transfer uh, the best it could to the tape. And then scissors or a paper cutter. Let's get started. Okay, so to make this transfer, all we want to do is take our image that we printed on a laser jet. Um, so a laser jet is like a copy machine. It's anything that's going to do the heat transferred ink rather than just a desk jet or ink jet, which is going to um, squirt the ink onto the paper rather than infusing it into the paper like a laser jet does. Um, and it's really kind of crucial that you use the laser jet so that you get a nice even transfer. So we're going to um, take our printed image and I like to just cut around the edges. It's less paper we have to um, get off of the tape. And then we're just going to take our packing tape. And I like to then just um, carefully, yep, if it kind of magnets itself to it, that's totally fine. Stick it down. Make sure you have enough excess so it sticks to the, the uh, surface you're working on. And just give it a really good rub. Um, if you need to, you can also take like a credit card or gift card something plastic to rub it down but usually if you just apply really good pressure make sure there's no air bubbles and that it's stuck really well that should work just fine okay so once we get that rubbed really well then we're going to flip it over so that the sticky side is up and I like to take my excess and actually fold over the edge and kind of stick it to my surface and do the same thing on the other side so that it's not going to move around on me, which is why we had such a large tape run as we did it. Okay, so now we've got this so that I can rub off the paper so we can make the transfer. Okay, so once we're stuck down, we're going to take some regular water and we're just going to wet our fingers and then we are going to wet the paper and you should start to see it become kind of transparent so we can see the words through it. And once we get that good and wet, it should start to allow us to um, ball up that paper to remove it from the tape. Okay, so as you can see, the paper is coming off. Okay, so once we get all of our paper off, we want to let this sit and dry, um, make sure that the water's all gone, and um, then we will be able to use it on our ornament. Okay, so once it's dry, and we can see that we have a really nice transfer um, of the image onto our tape, we're going to peel our tape up. And I'm going to um, hold it far away from the image and I'm actually going to take my scissors and I am going to um, trim around my image a little bit more closely. Once we cut around the edges, we're just going to stick it down to our ornament. And then once we do that, we can just take our nail or you could take a credit card, anything like that. We're just going to really smooth it down. The beautiful part about this type of method is that the transfer is on the back side of the tape. So um, us rubbing on the front isn't going to do anything to the image. It won't rub away the ink or anything like that. So we can get a really great um, adhesion to the um, ornament or glass or whatever you're trying to transfer onto. 
Okay, so once we get our tape transfer all the way on on here, we can continue to finish our ornament. Okay, so what we are going to do to um, get our shreds of paper that we will put inside of our bulb is we are going to take our paper cutter and we are going to slice this into um, segments so that we can um, insert it inside of the ornament. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, and um, as you can see, there's text on the back of all these, which is nice. Um, I like to then take a couple pieces of the um, sentences or pages or segments that we want to put in there, and then just take a pencil and roll the text around it so that it kind of gets a little bit of a natural curve in it. So it will contour to the ornament a little bit better. So we're just kind of pushing it around the pencil, and we're just using the pencil as a guide. You could use anything round, a dowel, a marker, whatever you have, just so it gets a little bit more of a bend in it. So when we go to put it in our ornaments, it will fit just a little bit better. So we just string one in. Whoop. And kind of push it in, and then you can shake it in there however you want. And then we do the next piece. And then we can just continue from there. Once you have most of your shreds in here and you get a really great look, um, I have just a couple left. I like to use a cooking skewer if necessary to just move some of the shreds um, where I'd like them. So I'm going to go ahead and put these last couple shreds in here and we will be all done. So once you get your paper shreds placed where you'd like, we recap up the ornament. And there you have it. Um, a great ornament that is just a nice way to showcase um, our love for the Harry Potter world, whether it's in the Roaring Twenties with Newt Scamander or all the way up with um, Harry Potter. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.